Please be clear, this is an invasion. We're Asian. We're in it's Liberty City, mother, mother, mother. You wanna ride? Let's ride through Liberty City. The evil genius drive in Liberty City. Now you were highly touted as an up-and-coming prospect until you had that, you know, that defeat against Grady Brew on Friday Night Fights. You come back after that fight. You've had one win. How did it feel to get that W after you got that first loss? And did you feel any pressure on you after you got that loss? Well, I felt a lot of pressure, you know, because I've never been in that situation before. You know, we we won so easy, you know, all the other fights and everything. So, yeah, it was a, a lot of pressure, but it was needed, you know. It was uh, pressure that I can handle. And then, um, we're, you know, we just, we just learned from that fight and we learned from the fight that we lost. And then we just move on. I mean, um, boxing, you know, and when it comes to boxing, it comes with that territory to just win and somebody got to lose, you know. Now, you said you learned from that loss. What was it you learned that you did wrong in that loss? Because I, I remember seeing you in training camp and you were training like there was really no tomorrow. Yeah, I always train that way, you know, and I'm always, and I mean, I'm still gonna train that way. The, only, the, the most important thing that I that I uh, that I got and won from that fight is a relationship with my father, and he's there with me every day now. He's like, because he knows how I train. You show how I train, you know. So the thing is, is like, I'm not gonna let nobody tell me dictate what I gotta do, how I gotta do it. And then, you know, I think I've been here for so for too long with this boxing that I can make up my own decisions and tell the the guys, you know, there was a lot of things that happened in the camp that, you know, n not blaming on nobody, but, you know, I had 21 fights, you know, in middleweight, 160. Why do we need to go down? And then why did I have to spar with so many left-handers and no right-handers? And why we had, you know, so now, knowing that it was wrong, I, I, you know, I, I stepped up, I stepped up and, and speak on my voice and, and, and never again, you know. Is there something where you kind of have to take control of your own training camp, you're gonna have to exactly, open up your mouth. Exactly, exactly. I, 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 I'm and, gonna take control. As, as a young fighter, how hard is it to do something like that? It's hard. It's hard. I'm telling you, man. I, I went all the way to New York to find a trainer. You know, I was searching for for a trainer and and, and, and by myself, me and my father. You know, because I had my manager do that for me all the time. But I'm like, you know what? Not. I'm not listening to nobody. You know. And then I went all the way to Puerto Rico. You know. I went. I, I mean, I'm searching. You know, like like because. I'm not gonna let nobody tell me this guy because every everybody talks about somebody else. No, he's not good. Or no, he's just a cheerleader. But now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna check it out for myself. I'm gonna speak up. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna be my own man. What do the fans have to look forward to coming up in your career? Same thing that I always done. You know, even better now. You know, because we're, we're not just a better fighter, but a better person. So, you know, just the same thing, um, just better. You know, aggression, power, speed, um, 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 awareness, and just skills, you know, everything.